First of all, welcome everyone to the Social Selling Success Training. I hope that you are ready to take a ton of notes, even though it's being recorded. I, I just I want you to listen and learn. You are in for an absolute treat. As a matter of fact, our trainer tonight was so popular last week that we are back by popular demand. Everyone wanted to, to learn more. Um, so with that said, I want to introduce our trainer tonight, Monique McGuire. Wire. She has been with Pure Romance for nine and a half years. She lives in San Antonio, Texas and has two children. She has sold $100,000 plus uh, for every year for the last seven or eight years. Her career sales actually just hit the million dollar mark, which is super, super exciting. She uh, sponsors about 50 plus new team members per year. She has served on the board of directors for nine years. Now, I always like to ask our trainers, what is something fun uh, that maybe not everybody knows? Now, all of those of you that were here last week, you do know this, but Monique actually really loves boy bands, specifically new kids on the block. <laughs> I tried last week to have her like do a little dance or belt a song out, but she was not having it. So uh, she, as you will be able to tell, she is extremely passionate about product knowledge and she's very passionate about making sure that we as a uh, as sales representatives representing our company representing our brand that we make sure that we know the know everything there is to know about the products and that we say and share the correct information and you'll see how passionate she is about that in just one moment so anyhow i am um, super super excited to welcome monique back i am going to turn my camera off and mute myself for a little bit i'll be monitoring the chat as um as well as one of my um fantastic co-workers amy peel will probably be jumping on and helping me out as well but if we have any questions that we don't know the answer to specifically as it relates to product we're always going to turn it back over to Monique at the end of this training. So Monique, Monique, it's all yours. <laughs> thank you so much for that warm welcome. And thank you everybody for having me back for round two. I'm so excited uh, to be here today. So a few things um, I am going to let you know, corporate did want me to do a little bit of a recap and everything to just kind of touch base. And if you missed the first one, don't worry. Again, that will be uploaded to the Corporate Pure Romance Training YouTube. And so uh, don't worry, you'll be able to see that, catch all the notes and hear some things um, that I did mention last time. They will be totally different products, but I did um, get asked to go ahead and um, hit on some key points, okay? So first off, again, I just wanna welcome all of our new consultants and I wanna welcome all of our seasoned consultants. Thank you for devoting that time and investing in yourself and learning more information about your products and, and just really honing in and bettering your craft. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and touch on a few key points that I mentioned last time. Um, again, we have very, very um, incredible, amazing products that really our corporate office just brings uh, us every single time. And it's really important for you to be a product of your own product. So um, the quality is always going to be there. And you will want to catch some of those misconceptions that I did mention last time. Um, one of the misconceptions was that coochie, our coochie in our product line is actually a better formula than coochie that is, you know, available at other places like sex shops or gas stations or other retailers. Uh, but coochie is a registered mark item. And that is actually a formula. And coochie is the same coochie that is the same coochie that is another coochie that is found somewhere else the only difference is that our coochie is actually our fragrances are what we own but the formula stays the same we just own our fragrances so that was one of the misconceptions people were saying that you know the gas station coochie was watered down or whatever it's actually the same exact formula um 
but ours, the only thing is that we own our own fragrances and no one can use our fragrances, which our fragrances are phenomenal. Now, another uh, misconception was um, that some people go around saying that body dew is an insect repellent. And we talked about wording um, and how crucial that is to representing your brand. And um, so actually soybean oil is the first ingredient on the ingredient deck of body dew. And soybean oil is known to be a natural insect repellent. So you can say that, but you can say that body dew is an insect repellent, okay? And then another misconception is um, that people were calling the nourishing body lotion waterless, and that's a misconception. It actually has water present in the aloe. Um, it's an aloe-based formula. It has aloe and coconut oil, but the water is present in the aloe, and that is why you can have a pH level, because you can't have pH levels unless there is water present in a formula. And then another misconception was a lot of consultants go around and say that basic instinct cures headaches, which is totally false. You can't go around making a medical claim because um, that is not how we um, represent our brand. Okay. So um, you can't go around making a claim like that or anything like that. A lot of consultants like to say that, but um, you can't say that it corrects or cures headaches, okay? Um, basic instinct is a sexual attractant and is a mood enhancer. Now, the next um, misconception is that some people go around saying that we have medical grade silicone in our products, and that is false. We actually have food grade silicone. And uh, medical grade silicone can only be used for medical devices by medical professionals. Um, we have food grade silicone, which is a body safe silicone. Um, and it's an amazing food grade silicone that, you know, you can find food grade silicone in cooking utensils and different things like that. And then another misconception and myth was that between the sheets, had pheromones in it. And that's not correct. Between the sheets is not pheromone infused. Between the sheets is a linen spray. So it is intended to be sprayed on the linens, not sprayed directly on the skin. And um, another thing is that basic product line and premium luxury product line liquids were different formulas. And by basic, I mean, you're just like me, your amp, your whipped, your body boost um, and your come clean or your cleansing mist versus the euphoria water-based lubricant, the euphoria enhancement gel, the euphoria firming cream, the euphoria cleansing mist, um, and the euphoria creme lubricant. Those are the premium. The other are your basic product line and they are the exact same formula. The only difference is you don't have one more ingredient. You don't have more of a certain ingredient, anything like that. The only difference is the packaging and the way your formula can react to packaging can cause you to have a different reaction with the product, but they are the exact same formula, the exact same consistency of every single ingredient. Um, and then another uh, misconception and myth that we busted is that our products are hypoallergenic. We cannot make that claim because we have not done the testing in order to make a claim for being hypoallergenic. Um, so we cannot go around saying that our products are hypoallergenic. We have not done that testing. And then um, another thing is that people were asking, how do you apply products when you are layering products? And a lot of people had their own ways of, oh, you need to layer this before this and this before that. But actually, if you speak with estheticians, you always layer your products from thinnest to thickest, okay? So the thinnest formula all the way to the thickest formula, that way it absorbs um, and starts working correctly the way it is intended to be used. And then let me see if I missed any other misconceptions from last time. Now, another question that was asked last time um, was where do we get our pheromones from? And I had um, thought that they were synthetic. I just wanted to confirm to make sure. Yes, they are 
synthetic. Um, so our pheromones are synthetic. So that is a recap of what we covered last time. And we did cover um, that all of, our, all of our products are paraben free, except Like a Virgin and Booty Ease, okay? Every single other product is paraben free in our entire product line. And again, all this information is correct and accurate as of June 2020. Um, after that point, you know, products can constantly get reformulated and things like that, but everything is correct and accurate as of June 2020. So the only two products that do contain uh, parabens are Like a Virgin and Booty Ease, just due to the way the product is intended to be used, okay? Other than that, the rest do not. Now I'm gonna get into getting some new information to you because I know you didn't come on this to hear a recap of everything. So I've got so much information tonight, you guys. I'm so excited. And even if I cover all of these products, I'm never gonna finish everything else that I wanna say. So there's just so much to say. Um, one of the things I do wanna touch on is um, there was some information in the chat last time and I wanted to correct a terminology that somebody put in the chat because it was not correct on the chat. But um, when I did rewatch my video, I did say it correctly, but I just wanted to make certain that you understand the difference in the words. So these two products, this is a Euphoria water-based lubricant and just like me, um, these are actually FDA cleared, okay? Um, some people in the chat have put FDA approved. That's a totally different thing. These are FDA cleared. Um, something that really makes these two items unique right here is these are the only two items in our entire product line, the Euphoria water-based lubricant and the Just Like Me. These are the only two products that are actually condom compatible. They have gone through the testing and they are condom compatible. We cannot make the claim of any other products in our entire product line. We cannot say that they are condom compatible except for these two products. Another thing that makes them unique is these two are FDA cleared. And um, that is super important to know uh, because that really does make them unique, okay? Now, we're gonna go ahead and get in to some other things, all right? Now, um, we are going to get rocking and rolling and busting some new myths today because I hear it all the time and I'm so excited to bust these myths. So, we are going to bust the myth of products that numb. Actually, none of our products and our entire product line numb. We are not doctors. We cannot give you products that numb, okay? So um, none of our products, including Booty Ease and Great Head, none of our products numb you um, because again, we're not doctors and these products do not have benzocaine in them, okay? So let's go ahead and talk about Great Head first of all. So Great Head, actually the active ingredient in Great Head is sodium alginate. And sodium alginate is like a seaweed. And what it does is it's a thickening agent and it helps coat the back of the gag reflex. So you could go all the way down comfortably, but again, it does not numb you because it does not have that benzocaine. It's just strictly a thickening agent ingredient um, that is derived from seaweed. Um, so that is why you get that coating effect on the back of the gag reflex, but no, it does not numb you. Okay, so this is great head. And the way you actually use this, all you do is you just take a dime size amount, you put it on the tip of your tongue, you lick the roof of your mouth and you swallow. It just coats the back of the gag reflex. So you could go all the way down comfortably without gagging. And another thing is, that it tastes amazing. What you swallow after that, that's entirely up to you. But this right here, you do wanna swallow so it coats the back of that gag reflex. But again, doesn't numb. Now with this right here, um, the ingredient name is sodium, sodium alginate. Now the next thing on Booty Ease, again, this does not numb, okay? Booty Ease does not numb. It does not have benzocaine or anything like that in it. It cannot be used on teething babies. That just doesn't even make sense. Um, it doesn't have benzocaine, okay? So this right here, it actually has a counter irritant, so it helps alleviate any feelings of irritation, okay? 
So the way you use this product, you just put a pea size amount around the anal area and it's just a comfort gel. It's just an anti-irritant, but it doesn't numb you, okay? So we're busting some myths right out of the gate. Now, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and bust a myth on is Shape Escape. So with Shape Escape, this is a really hot item and we are talking about, you guys, it is that season and I'm in Texas. It is the season all year long for us out here. Um, but Shape Escape is an anti-friction elixir, okay? This does not have talc. It actually has tapioca starch in here, which helps absorb moisture. So we're going to bust a myth. This is not waterproof. It has not gone through the testing to be classified as a waterproof product. It actually is designed to absorb moisture. So it prevents friction. You can use it on any area where you do have friction and it is unisex and it does have a light marine fragrance, okay? The way you apply this, you just take a small pea size amount and you rub it in in any area, okay, that you would like to prevent friction and absorb some moisture. You want to go ahead and continue to rub it in. It's going to go in like a lotion and what it does after that point is it starts to turn into a silky, silky powder and um, it just lives there. It stays right on the surface and prevents that friction, okay? You do want to wash your hands right afterwards because they can leave behind a white residue. You don't want to touch your dark clothing or anything. It's just like any other personal item that you are using. You want to make sure that you're doing that in the privacy of your own restroom applying and then um, washing and then putting on your clothing. It's an absolutely phenomenal product. Now the next product we're gonna go ahead and bust a myth about is we're gonna talk about the Repair Bomb, okay? So the Repair Bomb is fantastic. If you do not use the Repair Bomb, you definitely should. So one of the myths that I hear all the time is that this repair bomb is waterproof. It actually is not waterproof. It has not gone through the testing or anything like that, but this is an extremely moisturizing product. It is amazing because it delivers moisturization to the skin and it forms an occlusive barrier on your skin, which means that it's going to lock in that moisture. Occlusive means that it's not going to allow it out. It's going to lock it in, okay? Um, and this is formulated with six healing natural botanicals, which are very moisturizing. Again, you have that shea butter, you have that mango seed butter, you have beeswax, avocado oil, you've got sunflower seed oil, and linseed oil in this product to make it highly concentrated. And as you continue to rub in, it's going to absorb and lock in that moisture, okay? And all you need is a pea size amount on the area. And like I specified before, less is more with any product when you have a high end product. So just a pea size amount, rub it in on your chapped dry areas where your skin is super parched, like your cuticles, your hands, your elbows, your lips, your knees, the heels of your feet. Nobody likes sandpaper heels underneath the sheets. This is our Healy Moisturizing Repair Balm right here. Now we are going to go ahead and talk about a few other uh, misconceptions. One of the misconceptions is that um, you can have a grating when it comes to essential oils, okay? So actually, here's what corporate stance is that um, there is no industry standard for grading essential oils. Um, that is just a marketing ploy or anything like that. Um, it's just some fancy terms that people go out there and say, but there is not an industry standard grading system for essential oils. Um, and so don't get caught up in all that hoopla. Now, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and talk about is we're gonna talk about CBD. Okay, so there's a lot to be said about the CBD line. And I'm so excited that we have this product line, y'all. It's so amazing, wonderful, incredible. If you haven't used this line, I highly recommend this line. But there's so much information. Now, one of the misconceptions and myths about this item right here and our product line with CBD is that 
Um, the CBD products contain hemp seed oil. That is false. They do not. They actually come from the hemp flowers. They do not come from the hemp seeds, they come from the hemp flowers. That's very important to know. And that's very important to communicate with your clients, especially those clients who are extremely versed in CBD lingo. Okay. So again, they are not formulated from the hemp seed. They are formulated from the hemp flowers. Okay. Now let's get into some of the CBD products. I'm going to go ahead and break them down tell you some information about them, and you are gonna quickly see how much I love these. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about them as a whole and then individually. So our CBD products, we have our Healy Body Soak, we have our Healy Water-Based Lubricant, and we have our Healy Massage Melt, okay? So the body soak is going to be an isolate. It actually has 240 milligrams of CBD isolate. The lubricant is going to be 90 milligrams of CBD um, isolate. And then your massage melt is going to be 100 milligrams of CBD broad spectrum, okay? So now let's go ahead and talk about the soak first, okay? So your soak is going to be, um, it, this right here has magnesium sulfate in here, which magnesium sulfate is known to help remove the toxins from the body. And it also has cannabis sativa seed oil, fatty acids, which protect the skin from inflammation, oxidation, and other causes of aging. Now, another thing with this, this also has lavender and chamomile. Lavender and chamomile are known for their soothing properties. The way you use this, you just take this, it's like a little Ziploc, and then you just open it. You have a little wooden scoop in here, and you just take three to four scoops and put it in your bath water, agitate with your hands, and go ahead and soak the, the day away, okay? So this right here is our soak um, and it is that Healy body soak. Now um, this is also amazing because it is so rich in minerals and um, it comes in that resealable bag which is really convenient for your clients. Now the next thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is this um, amazing Healy water-based um, lubricant that has 90 milligrams of CBD isolate in here. So this is a water-based formula, but it is not the same exact formula as Just Like Me or the Euphoria water-based um, lubricant, okay? It has a similar, it's similar in the fact that it is water-based, but it is not the exact same ingredient deck, okay? And um, this right here, this formula um, is wonderful because um, doctors have said that by adding CBD into a lubricant, it can help alleviate uh, vaginal drying um, and discomfort associated with that vaginal drying. And also, um, doctors have said that adding CBD into your products can also help with inflammation. Um, now, the next thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is we are going to go ahead and talk about the Healy Massage Melt. If you have not use this massage melt. One of the things that I highly recommend is that you go ahead and get some outside orders right now and you order one of these for yourself, okay? Um, we have had the great pleasure of product testing, lots of products for Pure Romance, but I will tell you that when we product tested this product, um, my family went nuts over this product right here. And this product, everybody was asking, yo, where's the CBD massage melt? Who has the CBD massage melt? Hey, can you bring the CBD massage melt? Where's the CBD massage melt? And here's what I've got to tell you about this product right here. This product is infused with uh, CBD broad spectrum. It has 100 milligrams and um, it also has lavender and chamomile. And it's like a gel 
Okay, so just a little bit goes a long ways. And um, this is wonderful. It has sweet almond oil, jojoba seed oil, vitamin E. Um, it leaves the skin feeling really hydrated, moisturized, silky soft, and amazing, okay? Um, it also provides an even relaxing massage since it is a solid gel and um, it consistently just melts underneath your fingertips. And if you have not tried this, you definitely need to get this in your life. Um, what my family has found is that when we apply it to our areas that we just want to go ahead and massage, maybe have a sore achiness, to them, we have found that it absorbs very, very quickly and that we feel those soothing sensations almost immediately. Okay, absolutely amazing product. And um, so some people do ask, hey, why are there beads at the top of the product when you get it and from corporate, it shipped, it seals off and everything. And you might open the seal and see that um, there are some beads on the top of the, the little seal or maybe at the top of the product and you're wondering what's going on with this. Um, so some people will ask that question and this is what corporate said. The melting point of this product is 185 degrees Fahrenheit. The top layer will sweat during the summer, meaning only the top layer will get a little beads of the oil from heat, but this does not affect the product's quality. Um, there is no freezing point for this product since it does not contain any water in the formula. Y'all, this is amazing. Hook yourself up with this and also get your clients to give you some client testimonials. Everybody comes back and just tells me how much they love that product and Everybody in my family uses it religiously. So here are a few key things that you should know. You cannot make any medical claims. I know I did discuss that a few times last time and I said it already in this video. You can't make medical claims, okay? So be careful with your wording. Um, you want to use words like could, may, might, some find, my clients have reported, I'm told by my clients, those sort of things, instead of saying a direct medical claim, um, because you want to protect all of our organization, you wanna protect yourself, your business, and you wanna keep your integrity intact because you are building rapport with clients and if they trust you, they will always come back to you, okay? So consistency is key with CBD. Inform yourself uh, about CBD and you might be wondering, hey, Monique, where did you find this information? So most of our training information lives on the training.pureromance.com site. Um, I would say about 90% of our training material does live in that area. But I will tell you something else. If you want to get really, really versed, one thing I do is I've been doing this for nine and a half years for one hour, once a week. All I do is read product information to really become familiar with the products. Now, here's something that I will advise. Check out the training site, become familiar with your products, read the ingredient deck, research ingredients and why they are used in our products. So here's the deal. Corporate is always going to give you the best ingredients possible, okay? And they are going to make sure not to water down a formula and throw it and fill it in with other ingredients just to have an ingredient to take up space. They are always going to pack it with the best quality ingredients for that particular product. So um, one thing I will tell you that I also do because I like to know what my clients are being communicated on my website. So what do I mean by that? We each have our own e-commerce website that we can send our clients to. And if our clients shop on that website, our corporate office fills all of those orders. They drop ship them directly to your client and you get to make a percentage and get paid out on that. It's super easy. So if you are a social seller and you don't wanna have inventory, 
guess what? You have the ability to sell these products, talk about them, use the virtual backgrounds, um, take the actual graphics off of the training site, take the graphics off of the um, e-commerce website and share those graphics and share those videos with your clients. And then they shop on your website and you get paid. So I love to know what my clients are being communicated, okay? Because it's super important that I am familiar with what my clients are seeing. So I constantly check out my e-commerce website and I like to look at what information is in front of my clients about a particular product. And that's a great way to know because corporate is communicating that information that is coming directly from our vendors to the consumer okay now on our e-commerce website the reason that i said our training site doesn't have all the information is because on our training site currently the only cbd information on our training site is the c of a that is the certificate of analysis okay but as far as cbd if you go to your e-commerce website and you click on one of the cbd products say you click on the healy body soap you click on it, it's going to have a little link. It's gonna to say, to find out more information about our CBD, click here. When you click there, it literally takes you to a plethora of information all about our CBD. It breaks down what um, hemp seed flower, what hemp seed is, what hemp flower is. It breaks down um, all sorts of burning questions about CBD and why a client would wanna use CBD products and everything. It breaks down what CBD is, what, C, uh, what CB2 is, it breaks down all sorts of things. So um, that is all on your e-commerce website. If you click on any of the CBD products on your e-commerce website, there is a little link that says click here and it takes you directly to the CBD FAQ and all of the information. So um, definitely utilize those resources because you will be so impressed at what a great job our corporate staff and office does to provide us all the information at our fingertips. Now, the next thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is we are going to go ahead and talk about miracle oil. I hear y'all have some questions. So I'm so excited to get to talk about this product because it's an amazing product. And if you um, have heard all sorts of things about miracle oil and all sorts of claims, um, I'm here to set the record straight, okay? So let's talk about Miracle Oil. So Miracle Oil actually helps soothe, protect, and moisturize the skin. Um, Miracle Oil is packed with essential oils that are 100% naturally sourced, but not certified, okay? Um, and Miracle Oil is a healing formula, says so right on the bottle. And so here's the deal. Um, with this, uh, you can actually mix this with your moisturizer to help prevent wrinkles or to your shampoo um, to help, you know, with dry scalp. Um, but notice the words that I am saying. I am not saying it does not, I'm not saying it cures dandruff. I am not saying that it is going to banish wrinkles. I am not saying any of that. Please pay close attention to the verbiage that I am using. You can mix this in with a moisturizer to help prevent wrinkles, okay? Keyword to help prevent wrinkles. So that's a key phrase right there. And you can add it to shampoo to help with a dry scalp, okay? Um, now, another thing about Miracle Oil, some of the essential oils in here are safflower seed oil. This has sunflower seed oil, moringa oleifera, has grape seed oil. This has tea tree oil. So tea tree oil is known to have natural antifungal and natural antibacterial properties. Um, and then this has Aragon oil. Our formula of Miracle Oil got reformulated in 2012, and we had a resident chemist um, change the formula up to actually make it to where it is quicker to absorb. They re 
formulated with um with using aragon oil in the ingredient zach um and which aragon oil contains vitamin e and carotenes uh for regenerating damaged skin another thing with that reformulation it made it feel lighter less greasy on the skin and quicker to absorb um and now um this also has sweet almond oil it does have evening primrose oil jojoba seed oil it does have tocopherol uh, which is a vitamin e um and so the aragon oil the sweet almond oil the jojoba seed oil are known for their hydrating properties and this is a multi-purpose oil and it can be applied to cuts and scrapes to help reduce the appearance of scars okay so please watch the replay of this because i was very careful with my verbiage very careful with my wording i was not making medical claims or anything like that i was saying can be applied it can help reduce um the appearance of scars it can help prevent wrinkles it can help with dry scalp um and i did mention that tea tree oil is known to have its natural antifungal and natural antibacterial properties okay um but you're not making any medical claims um and again it helps soothe protect and moisturize okay so this is miracle oil it's a phenomenal product if you haven't started using this you definitely want to use this product okay you want to be very careful with the words you use when you're representing our brand and when you're representing a product because your integrity is intact the integrity of our company is intact and everything so you want to go ahead and make sure that you are giving your clients the best information available now the next thing we're going to go ahead and talk about is we are going to continue with some uh essential oils i am going to bust another myth right now and it's about kickstart okay so here's the deal um i did ask erin this question and erin did come back and say that um her words exactly was kickstart was never positioned as an energy booster okay it was never positioned as an energy booster. So please don't go around saying that Kickstart is an energy booster, okay? Because it's not. It was never positioned as an energy booster, okay? So Kickstart actually has cinnamon, it has peppermint, it has ginger in here, which are known to help promote gut health and help boost metabolism, okay? So that is what you can say uh, about the product. The way you use this, you just drop four drops in four ounces of a liquid. You can take it up to twice a day if you would like. Uh, we do recommend that you pour this into a glass container, not plastic, um, and you can take it up to twice a day, okay? So remember that you can't make claims you can strictly say, like, I know a lot of people make all these claims. They're like, oh, it helps me focus. Oh, it helps boost my energy. Oh, it helps. You can't say that. You cannot go out and say that about this product. It was never positioned to be that. It was positioned to help promote and boost metabolism, okay? And so this right here, you can just throw it um, in four little drops, four ounces of a liquid, throw it back and have it up to twice a day. Now, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and talk about is we are going to go ahead and talk about the carrier oil in our essential oils, okay? So yes, we do have a carrier oil in our essential oils. Um, and the carrier oil is the caprylic, capric triglyceride, which the common name is coconut oil, okay? so. Here's a few things. This contains um, coconut oil, uh, contains the short fatty acids, and it can, however, be used in place of fractionated coconut oil, which is slightly lighter and sick, uh, silkier feel, okay? So now here's the deal with these essential oils. I'm just gonna take them bit by bit. So let's go with the first one that I picked up. The first one that I picked up 
is Rise and Grind, okay? So Rise and Grind is um, amazing because Rise and Grind actually helps promote energy and focus, okay? We can't say, hey, Rise and Grind gives you energy, gives you focus. Rise and Grind helps promote energy and helps promote focus. Rise and Grind has citrus, has vanilla and peppermint in here. Um, so this is Rise and Grind and it's very easy to apply and use. Now, a few things you should know about our essential oils. If you pick up this little corner of your essential oil and you peel it back just like that, it's actually going to give you more information about the oil and it will give you the entire ingredient deck, okay? So if you have a client with an allergy or anything like that, um, you can quickly reference your ingredient deck just by peeling that back. And all you have to do is pick up this little corner where it says uh, peel here and it does expose more information on the ingredient deck. So this is Rise and Grind right here, and it does come in the glass bottle with a roller ball for easy application, and each product will tell you where to apply this, okay, topically, um, and it will tell you where to apply it for best results, and you can just go ahead and dab it, rub it in, and put it wherever it specifies on that packaging, okay? Now the next oil we're gonna go ahead and talk about happens to be one of my favorite, 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 y'all. Oh my goodness. I love this oil so much. And I talk about it all the time. If you follow me on Facebook, if you follow me on Instagram, it is literally pinned as my highlights on my Facebook and on my Instagram. This is a firm believer. Okay. Now I use this every single day, twice a day. It has a jam-packed phenomenal ingredient deck this right here helps firm tone smooth and hydrate it has rose hip seed oil it has carrot seed oil it has frankincense in here um and so what rose hip does for the skin is it helps minimize skin spots scars, and under eye circles. That's what rosehip is known for. And you can find rosehip in your really, really high-end skincare products. You go to Neiman Marcus, you walk in, they're talking about skincare. A lot of the products will have rosehips in there, okay? Now, another thing is this has carrot seed in here, which improves the elasticity, making it softer and Fuller. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't want softer, fuller skin, right? And then this has frankincense, which frankincense is known to help even out skin tone and calm down inflammation. Um, hello, sign me up. I need an entire supply of this stuff. And you should too. You should be sharing it with your clients. Um, it can be used anywhere you would like to improve the appearance of your skin, okay? Now, I am going to tell you something. I do not recommend putting anything on your eyelids when it comes to an oil because your eyelids naturally draw down and pull into your eye. And if you've ever gotten this in your eye, yeah, it burns, okay? So you want to make sure when you're applying, you want to just apply a little bit because, again, a little bit goes a long way. So you just take this, you just rub it in right underneath your eye. You take your weakest finger, which is your ring finger, and you just start to apply to minimize the appearance of those dark circles. Pull out to start minimizing the appearance of those crow's feet, the fine lines, the wrinkles to help minimize the appearance of all of those wrinkles, to help minimize the appearance of those dark spots, the inflammation, and help illuminate the skin. If you need more, you can go on the next side and just rub a little bit. And trust me, a little bit goes a long ways. This is the firm believer. I mean, oh my goodness. And always remember that essential oils are not perfumes. They are to provide a benefit okay? They are not a perfume, but they do smell amazing. I'm just going to say that. Now we're going to go ahead and move on because I'm looking at the timer. And this right here is our open sesame. So open sesame 
helps promote easy breathing. So this one has eucalyptus and tea tree oil, which are known to help um, open up the airways. It helps promote easy breathing right here. <clears throat> this also has lemon and peppermint, absolutely an amazing formula. You can just apply it to your chest, your back, soles of your feet to just really help with that easy breathing. Now the next one we're gonna go ahead and talk about is Be Kind, Unwind. It was formerly known as Time to Go Flow. This is Be Kind, Unwind. Be Kind, Unwind has lavender, clary, and chamomile in here. Lavender is known for its soothing properties, for its relaxation properties. Chamomile is known for its anti-stress and anti-anxiety properties. Clary is also known for its soothing, helping to bring you back down to your center. Um, this is a phenomenal product uh, to help promote healthy emotions, okay? Um, this is just an amazing product. You definitely want to have this um, in your pocket because, I mean, think about how many times you just really feel like you just want to be brought down to promote healthy emotion. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is bang bang so bang bang right here has elangling so if you didn't know how to say that it's elangling so elangling is a very very sensual oil okay and oh my goodness it gets your brain your biggest sexual organ thinking about sex okay so this also has sandalwood it has a lemon balm lemon balm is one of my favorite scents ever i mean goodness my mom has a lemon balm plant. We do too. It's amazing. Um, this has cedar wood. So again, it helps promote a healthy libido. This is now called, Bing Bing is now called Hello Libido. Okay. And then let's talk about now and then. Y'all who's excited about this new product, now and then is awesome. Um, now and then helps create a sense and support and a sense of well-being and to help support you during times of stress. I mean, this ingredient deck is awesome. So this has lavender and marjoram, which are known for their calming properties. This also has vanilla and elangalang, um, which helps promote feelings of calm and really just balance, um, helps promote that balance. Now, it does have whole wood, which is known to help you get in tune with your environment, which whole wood actually has like a forest-like scent. Um, if you have not smelled this yet, y'all, it, oh, it smells like heaven, okay? Um, so this right here, you definitely want to have because I can think of some people who are totally stressed out and um, Remember, I'm not saying this, you know, making a medical claim, but I'm saying it helps promote a sense of well being and support you during your times of stress. So, definitely some great essential oils that we have in our product line. I'm going to go ahead and give you some quick uh, key selling things because some people do ask about this kind of stuff. Um, and we actually like get our products from amazing, amazing, amazing resources. So um, the Alanga Lang uh, comes from Madagascar. Um, the sandalwood comes from India. The lemon balm comes from Italy. The cedar wood comes from the USA. Um, that's in the Bang Bang or other known as Hello Libido. The open sesame, the eucalyptus comes from Australia and South America. The tea tree comes from Australia. The lemon peel comes from Italy, peppermint from USA. Um, and the Be Kind Unwind, this one comes from, the clary sage comes from the USA and France and the lavender from France and chamomile from the USA. The Rise and Grind, um, the Rise and Grind, actually, the grapefruit comes from the U.S., the peppermint comes from the U.S., the vanilla comes from the U.S., and the rosemary comes from Tunisia and Morocco. You guys, 
Oh my goodness. Like so amazing. Like I love, love, love that we have such an amazing corporate office that gives us the most phenomenal products with the most phenomenal ingredient decks that we could ever, ever have. I mean, we just have such an ability to go out and change our lives with our entire product line. Now, another thing I'm going to go ahead and tell you, some people did ask on the other one, if you could use AMP and O together or O and the Euphoria Enhancement Gel together. Yes, you can. The way you want to apply a gun, you want to apply thinnest to thickest, okay? So thinnest would be your enhancement gel. And it's quick to absorb, just a tiny speck will do. You apply it directly to the clitoris, it absorbs right on contact. And then you wanna go ahead and apply your O, if you would like. Um, and your O is actually um, gonna be a little bit longer to absorb um, because it is a cream texture. So that is why you would apply thinnest, too thickest but yes you can use both and a question that happened last time and i did answer this on the last one and you'll be able to see the replay um are these recommended for the penis it does not say on the packaging to be applied to the penis but can the penis feel it yes is it a burning sensation i saw in the chat um actually everybody's different and it is not intended to be applied to the penis but if it is guess what it's going to be different for every person but can you apply o to the clitoris and to the penis yes you can and it even says on the packaging it gives you that information right on the packaging right on the label for you to go ahead and utilize that information okay and i did talk about um last time about um the amp and the um Oh, okay. So I did talk about that. That will be on the other training. If you would like to know more information about that, because I know that was a question. And now I'm about to bust another myth. You guys, this myth drives me bonkers. Literally drives me bonkers. Okay. Cause I'm silly like that, but here's the deal. The myth is some people say, Hey, Coco glow is just body boost with a tanner that is not correct that is not correct at all um actually yes they do have similar ingredient decks they do they have similar ingredient decks but they do not have the same formula okay um so they do have similar ingredient decks not the same formula you want to sell your clients both products okay you want to sell your clients both the coco glow and the euphoria firming cream or the coco glow and the body boost um they are not the same formula this coco glow is not body boost or the euphoria firming cream with tanner added it is actually a whole different formula but yes it does have similar ingredients but you can sell your client both of these products okay now let's talk about because last time we talked about the euphoria firming cream and all the amazing ingredients in here and how that works but let's talk about coco glow it is a two-stage tanning system okay so this actually has dha in here um so you're going to start to see an effect right away when you're applying okay and um you're going to see that immediate tan because it has the urethralose the urethralose in here, okay? So that's what gives it that immediate effect. And then you're going to go ahead and have the next step that comes in to play. And this gives you the premium level of tanning, y'all. This is a great product. I know that this sold out very quickly. I love the new packaging um, that has been launched for that product. The new packaging is so high end. It looks so classy. It's so amazing, y'all. Now, another thing I did notice in the chat that people are asking the shelf life. Okay, so according to corporate on the training site, all products have a one year shelf life after the seal has been broken. Um, and you do want to note that if it does have oils inside of a product or anything like that, 
you do want to note that oils do tend to break down sooner. So one year shelf life is corporate stance on your products, okay? So one year shelf life from the time that the seal is broken. Um, and oils do break down quicker. So just so you know that right there. Uh, let me see if I answered everybody's questions from last time because I did take some notes. Um, and let me just see. Okay, now another thing is, um, we do have all sorts of phenomenal lubricants and everything. And I hope I get to do another training so I can tell you all about our lubricants. I can tell you more uh, information about some other products. I have an entire table of products. I can tell you Mythbusters about Up All Night. I can tell you Mythbusters about the GPS G-Spot Cream, all about a ton of other products. I can tell you about materials that are used in our products, all the different kinds of materials and everything. But I do know that my time is coming to a close. And I did write down the notes from questions that people did ask me uh, prior to the training. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it right back over to Kimberly and Amy. And y'all can let me know where I'm at and what kind of questions I need to answer. Okay, fantastic. How much time did you have? I can't remember. What time's your party? Okay, so give me one second. My party is at 7.30. Um, okay. I just need five, so I need to be off by 7.25 to log on to that party. Okay. So, so, so I guess for you guys, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. So for you guys, um, that's 8.30, your yeah. time. We got it. All right, so uh, we'll go through these kind of quick. This one, I think uh, you answered the first time. I just couldn't remember to answer it. Um, are uh, our products vegan? Okay. Ah, so yes, I did answer. So um, our products, what you need to say, corporate stance is that corporate has gone to all of the vendors and is waiting for each vendor to actually come back with a statement about the ingredients in the products that we have. Um, and for now, corporate wants us to hold off and state that we are checking with all of our vendors. And once our vendors have given us a confirmed um, answer, corporate will review, Chris and Cheryl will approve, sign off on it, and then it will be posted on the training site. Fantastic. And um, do you ever get the question, what makes our essential oils different than others? So um, here's the deal. Everybody's going to go out and claim whatever they want to claim. It can be a marketing ploy or anything like that. But I will tell you that we source our products from the best that we can get available to us. So we are getting our products sourced um, from phenomenal people. And I know that Erin on Pure Product um, has talked about where those products come from and everything and I know that Patty has done a video on it and all of that can be found on the corporate YouTube channel and um, that will be under pure product from uh, Aaron and you'll see Patty and on one of the videos at uh, minute 11 um, where Patty is talking about our essential oils you'll see why our essential oils are so phenomenal. And is that, where did you get the information of the origin of all of, of the ingredients that you listed off? Did you get it from that? What you just shared yeah. with us? So um, we used to have an external micro site that had all this information. And um, when our essential oils were first launched, um, I took a ton of notes and I taught an essential oil class at national training and I've taught at other places um, at world conference, national training, different places. And so I have all that information from when I have taught other classes, but corporate did have an external microsite. I did talk to Isabel, uh, today. And, um, I asked if, since we don't have that external microsite, if some of that information will be placed on the training site. And Isabel, um, said that she would go ahead and check and see if that could be added back because, the locations are no longer on our training site, but I do have those in my notes. Yes. Uh, and then can you answer, what's the difference between cleared by the FDA and approved by the FDA? Ah, okay. So it's different testing, different amounts of money to get different regulations. Um, and another thing, 
pure romance doesn't, doesn't just test to test, okay? All of those testing and certifications require certain things that pure romance really might not want to be involved with. So we can say with confidence that, you know, pure romance as a brand does not do animal testing. We can say that pure romance, like Patty's not going out there and testing um, on animals, right? Our products. So we can say with confidence that pure romance does not do animal testing. But once you start getting into these certifications and classifications and approvals and all of that kind of stuff, what that entails is that whoever is doing that testing might have to test on certain animals and certain other things. So corporate does not want to be in a position where we're going out and doing all sorts of unnecessary testing that, you know, could really just is not necessary for our particular brand, our consumer. And um, I mean, that's just the stance currently. That can always change. Again, things change constantly. Absolutely. So uh, someone asked if someone has PCOS or endometriosis, would CBD help? So again, we can't make any medical claims. Um, so you can't say that at all. But what I will tell you is if you um, go to the Patty Brisbane Foundation website um, and you click on that, there is a plethora of information that you can actually find um, certain associations that will give you information. She has direct links on that website that will give you resources to share with your clients. It will give you information on studies that have been done. Um, and it will give you better information to navigate that with your clients. I do have a ton of girls on my team who have endometriosis. I do have clients who have endometriosis. And to keep my integrity intact because they trust me and I've built this incredible business over nine and a half years, I always give them the resources. I answer the questions, but I do not make medical claims because that is my name on the line. That is pure romance's brand on the line. And it's not our place to make a medical claim. I did not go to medical school. Correct. Uh, someone asked if a client does not want to purchase our cleansing mist, what would you suggest to use to clean? <laughs> I would say, oh, can you go ahead and sign right here that you refuse the cleaner because if you happen to get an infection or anything like that from using your toy, um, I do not want to be liable for that because I gave you the information on how to clean and care for the products to protect you and protect your investment. Um, but I would just like your signature right here that I gave you that information because our cleansing mist, our Euphoria cleansing mist is $19. Our eight ounce cleansing mist is $18. And probably your copay is a little bit higher than that if you have to go to the doctor and then your doctor is going to prescribe you an antibiotic to clear up the infection. And then you're going to have to take a diflucan to clear up the yeast infection that that antibiotic caused. So I just want to make sure that you were presented the correct information on how to clean and care for your accessory and that you are refusing that. Would you still like to sign or would you like to go ahead and purchase the cleaner? I think I'll have some cleaner. Thank you. I, I, I agree, right? Like, heck yeah. And I do that all the time. And I've only had one client, nine and a half years in business. I've only had one client after I gave that spiel. And you guys, I don't have it written up. I don't have this disclaimer printed out. Nobody needs that. I just literally say, here's an X. Can you sign your name right here? I'm going to put this in my record <laughs> and put the date on it. And, and, I've only had one refuse it and that was a-okay like if she wants that I mean that's entirely up to her but um it's my responsibility as a consultant to give her the correct information and at that point she can make that decision what's going to be best for her and her needs it's not my place to judge what she buys or doesn't buy 
Uh, oh, we've had a couple of questions and I know you've gone over it, but I think they just want to um, hear it again. If there is a product that is helping them, sorry, my dog wants to talk to everybody. With, okay. <laughs> if there is a product that is helping someone personally, not curing, but just uh, it, it aids in discomfort or I have found that when I use this, it gives me more energy they can say that that's, you know, this is what I have found. This is what my clients have said, but they cannot say this does this. Exactly. Right? So um, always, and, and here's another thing, people don't want to picture you using the products, especially when it comes to bedroom necessities and intimate items. They do not want to picture you, okay? Um, now, if it's the firming cream, you can say, you know, I have found, um, again, those words that I said before, like could or might, or I have found, or my clients have found, or things like that, but not making an actual claim, um, then, you know, you can say that, but you want to tread lightly, especially if it's a bedroom necessity item, because what's going to happen is you're actually going to do the opposite effect for your client. You're going to turn them off. Okay. Um, so if you're doing that with a product that is a more intimate product, then you want to say like, you know, my clients have said, even if it's you, you're the client. Okay. You're buying the product, you're a product of your own product. Um, even if it was your experience, but you can't make a medical claim. So you can say those words again, like could, I have found, my clients have found, it may, um, things like that, because that is just keeping the brand uh, integrity intact. Oh, I did want to mention something real quick, because this question gets asked all the time, all the time, and it just popped into my head right now, um, latex. So um, the only current product that has latex is the whip end of the tickle and whip, okay? Every other product in our entire product line does not contain latex, just the whip end of the tickle and whip. So even if your client has a latex sensitivity, anything like that, none of our other products in the entire current product line contain latex. And people always ask, are you sure that these gloves, the In Good Hands, do not contain latex? No, they don't. They are actually silicone, okay? So these are silicone. Um, so I know that that's a question that I get asked all the time. All right. Well, you know what? I um, actually have been scrolling through the chat. I don't see any other questions that um, that we've missed as far as I can tell. I, I think I went to, um, oh, someone just asked. <laughs> all right. Okay. Last question. Last uh -huh. question. Because they will ask all night long, right? <laughs> because you it's okay. love hearing from you. Well, you got to go to a party, right? <laughs> you got to keep selling that 100,000 plus every year. So uh, <laughs> Emily asked, what is the best way to clean the gloves? Oh, okay. So you can actually clean the gloves a few ways. Um, one of the ways you can use our cleansing mist and you just take it and you just spray it on the gloves and you can just rub and, you know, get everything out of the little grooves and things like that. And then you can rinse it and let it sit out on your counter or pat dry or hang in your shower. Um, but with these gloves, you can actually also boil them in hot water. So what I personally do is I take the heart throbs and the hot heart massagers and the silicone gloves, throw them in boiling water. And I just set a timer and then I just pull them out uh, because I'm a major germaphobe. And um, these gloves can be used for all sorts of things. You can use these gloves in the shower with your pH balance, bubble bath, shower gel, and external labia cleaner uh, to exfoliate your skin. You can use these to apply your Euphoria Firming Cream um, to help accelerate the results because your fat pockets are all the way down in the third layer of skin. And as you continue to rub, and these help accelerate the results because you're getting down there quicker, 
and really needing in that product. And then you can also use these for massage with our oils, with the lotion, with all sorts of things. Um, but you know, those can leave behind residue. So um, you can just clean them to whatever your preference is. But um, I am a dermaphobe and was way before COVID. So I like to boil mine um, and everything like that, just to make sure that they're completely cleaned of everything. All right. Well, that's a great way. Everybody loved your tips. So as always throughout the chat, everybody has been just like, just so impressed with all of your knowledge. I told them that you were going to be passionate and share a whole lot of information. So I did not lie. <laughs> so, um, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. Um, Monique, thank you so much once again for sharing uh, this time with us and sharing all of your knowledge. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, we will get this. It is being recorded. And so we will get it up on the YouTube, the Pure Romance Consultant Training YouTube site, um, hopefully by the end of this week. So um, Monique, anything from us? Do you need anything from me? So um, one thing I do want to mention, I got hit up a lot uh, today. The part one um, has been sent over to the video team and is being uploaded to the consultant YouTube channel. Um, so just wait for that. Um, if you have not already set your um, notifications and subscribe to the Pure Romance Consultant Training YouTube channel and the Pure Romance official YouTube, go ahead and set your notifications and subscribe to those. And every time corporate uploads a new video, you will get a notification and you can be in the know the second that it launches. Um, and then they will put up part two, like Kimberly just said and everything. And you guys, I have an entire table of products that I didn't even get to. Um, I have all of the bedroom accessories and materials, all sorts of things, but I knew we were going to be pressed for time. So thank you again for having me. I'm so extremely honored and I'm so grateful. And I just love that all of you are here and bettering your craft and adding more tools to your tool belt to better represent the brand, to help you also make more money. And another thing, like you guys, this is so exciting because the more you show up, the more corporate will provide for you. And don't compare your day one to my year nine and a half, okay? It's okay. You have these videos at your fingertips or you will, and you'll be able to rewatch them and everything like that. I mean, it could be worse. Like when I started, we didn't have this kind of stuff. So um, now you have all of this and I'm just so grateful to our corporate office and thank you uh, to the training team for having me. I appreciate y'all tremendously. Well, thank you again. I did want to let people know if you go to, if you go to the YouTube or go to YouTube, you can look, search Pure Romance. That will pull up our main YouTube site. On the right hand side, there's a little, uh, our, uh, Pure Romance Heart, it's kind of in, a, I think, a black shade. If you click on that, that is actually the consultant training YouTube site. You'll see a ton of great information. These will be all of our success selling um, social selling success uh, Zooms are all in the online playlist. There's a great, uh, there's some new consultant training there on the, you'll, you'll see a link for that one as well, or a playlist for new consultants. So if you haven't been there, make sure to visit it because it is a ton of information. So with that said, we are going to end tonight's call. Thank you so, so much. Again, we appreciate it. Thank you everyone for joining us. We hope you have a great night and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.